Hello everyone. Today I would like to show you the first problem of a 2019 USA team selection test. So this is a geometry problem. So let's uh, go through it and draw the figures. So ABC is a triangle, and M and N are the midpoints of uh, AB and AC. Now we draw the circumcircle of ABC and x is the point on the tangent 9, which uh, tangent to the point A. So AX is tangent to the, this circle. Next, we draw a circle omega B passing through the point M and B, such that uh, XM is tangent to this red circle. We do the same thing for the point N and C. So XN, the purple 9, is tangent to the circle passing through N and C, the purple circle passing through N and C. And the problem is proof that this red circle and purple circle intersect at a point on the 9 BC. So in other words, we want to find a point Y on the 9 BC such that YBM, the circle YBM is tangent to XM and the circle YCN is tangent to XM. So from a first glance, this red and purple circle are constructed in a very unnatural way. So let me show you first a lemma to construct them more directly and get a better understanding of uh, this problem. So the lemma is the following. We draw a circle passing through the point A, X, and N. And this circle intersects the line AC at a point E. So we choose the orange circle and the point E is here. And the claim is that if we draw the line EM which intersects BC at a point Y, then Y is the point that we are looking for. More precisely, then XM is tangent to the circle y b m indeed the proof of this lemma is quite simple we first show these two triangles are si similar to each other the triangle a x m and the triangle c e y so let's look at the angles of this triangle so since the line x a is tangent to the circle so the angle XAM is the same as the angle ACB, which is ECY. And moreover, by construction, XAM are on the same circle. So this angle YEC here is the same as the angle AXM here. This means that these two triangles are similar. In particular, the third angle of these triangles are the same to each other which is the angle amx here and the angle myb here and this angle xma is the same as the one that opposite it and moreover these two, two angles are equal implies that the line xm is tangent to the circle YBM and this concludes the claim, the proof of the lemma. Then before moving on, we remark that there are another pair of uh, similar triangles which is the triangle EAX and the triangle YBM. So it is easy to prove in the same way that the triangle EAX is similar to the triangle YBM. In particular, this implies that AE over AX is equals to YB over BM. So far, we have uh, directly construct this red circle and the intersection point Y, and we prove that indeed this circle is tangent to the line xm. Now we can do the same thing for the point n and try to prove that 
the purple circle will pass through the same point y. However, I don't find a very easy way to prove it in this direction, but let me show you how I proceed it. So now we get this point y, and I'm to, going to draw the line y and which intersect a, b at a point f. What I'm going to prove is that y and c, the circle y and c is tangent to the line xn. That's what we need to prove. And to prove it, we are going to prove the triangle axn is uh, similar to the triangle BFY here. So if this is true, then the angle A and X over here will be the same as the angle NYC over here. Remarking that this angle is the same as the angle here, this implies XN is tangent to the circle Y and C. So now it is sufficient to prove this uh, similarity between triangles. So let's start looking at the angles. So first we are going to prove that the angle XAN is the same as the angle FBY. So the angle XAN is the same as the angle FBY. So why this is true, indeed, XAN is pi minus this angle here and by the tangent 9 of uh, AX to the circle this angle is the same as uh, the angle ABC and pi minus the angle ABC is exactly FBY so this is okay and the second thing we are going to prove is that AX over AN is equals to F B over B Y. So if if we have this uh, it, uh, equality, then uh, these two triangles are similar. So now, if we look at this equation we want to prove and the one that we developed previously, we see that. They both have the term AX times BY and AX times BY. So it is sufficient to prove that AE times BM equals to AN times BF. So to prove it, we are going to apply Menelaus uh, theorem. And on this uh, 9 EMY and the 9 NFY. So let's first apply it on the line y m e so we have a e over e c times c y over y b times b m over m a equals to 1 since m is the midpoint this term is 1 and we have a e over e c equals b y over CY. Next, we apply Menelaus on NFY, we get AN over NC times CY over YB times uh, BF over FA equals to 1. So again, N is the midpoint, so AN equals to NC, and we have uh, this uh, relations. And indeed, this implies that AE over EC equals to BF over FA. Now if I add one on both sides, so we have AE over AE plus EC is equals to BF over BF plus FA. And since AE plus AC is EC is AC, BF plus FA is AB. We get AE times AB equals to AC times BF. And the final thing is to remark that BM is half of uh, AB and AN is half of AC. So this uh, 
relation holds, and we prove that uh, this triangle is uh, AXN is similar to the triangle BFY, which implies the tangent to the circle. So this concludes the proof. Hope you like it. Thank you.